So now, for example, uh, when you have two different equations, let's say um, instead of one curve now, we will have, let's say, two curves. So I'll just start with a new notebook. So when you have two different curves, now let's say the function is y equals to x squared and y equals to, let's say, x plus 1. Now y equals to x squared and y equals to x plus one. Now, for example, here when I sketch, y equals to x squared graph is like this. This is like a standard parabola. And y equals to x plus one is a line. Now x plus one is a line. Now you can see that the graph is intersecting a two distinct solution. There are two distinct roots, you can say, for these two simultaneous equations. There are some cases you will notice that the graph if the, if the line I keep as a variable or something, I keep a A here. In that case, it might be that, okay, this, this is a possible position. There are other possible positions could have been here. The line is somewhere away from the curve. And the third case is, okay, where it is just touching the X, I mean, touching that particular curve. So there are three possibilities that you have when you have two curves. If they intersect, at two points, obviously we're gonna use the same rule. Eventually the equation, like let's say when I use these two to solve simultaneous equation. Now, for example, if I like here, if I replace this y as x squared here, I get x squared equals to x plus a. Now, if I bring everything one side, I get x squared minus x minus a equals to zero. So now this is back to the same type of quadratic. Now, when you are being asked that, okay, this quadratic has got two distinct roots, it means that for this, it, the intersection must be, I mean, the root must be, I mean, the discriminant must be positive. When you have two equations, let's say, if I say that this line and this curve intersect for, um, what do you say, at two distinct points, like here, like here, like here, at like, at different points where it is cutting at two distinct points only, find out the range of k values for which that happens. So whenever the quadratic and the curve or any two particular curves are intersecting at two points and the resulting equation is like a quadratic, for that quadratic, b squared minus 4ac must be more than zero. Because this quadratic should have two answers, as simple as that. So when I find our discriminant here, if I do b squared minus 4ac, which is negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times, and your c is negative a, that's a, that's a c value. So, so here a is 1, b is 1, negative 1, and c is negative a. Now this equation is 1 plus 4a. Now what happened is that for two distinct point intersection, this must be more than zero. Now when it is more than zero, you get, and you solve for a. So for a, if I take higher than negative one, and a is higher than negative one, four. So any a value that I take higher than negative one, four, it is gonna cut this quadratic at two, points. This line is going to cut at two points. So what I'm going to just show you is that the graphical evidence for the same. So now when you look at the equation that we took y equals to x squared, now here is the first graph and the second line that we took is y equals to x plus a. Now you can clearly see that line can cut at based on the a values. The line cuts at two points or it doesn't meet the graph at any given point or it is just like tangent to the graph, something like this, or it doesn't need at all, like Q. Now, based on the values that you got, like if I take any a value higher than negative one fourth, so if, if I take, let's say at negative one fourth, you'll see that the line is almost tangent. This is tangent to the curve. But any value, if I take higher than negative one fourth, like for example, if I take negative one, I mean negative two, I mean positive two or something like that, the graph is cutting at two points. So whenever you're do, using discriminant logic for two different equations, what you need to just do is equate the two equations. And for that equation, if, you, it isn't, if they have given that, they're meeting at 
or cutting the graph at two distinct points, it means discriminant is more than zero. If it is a situation like here, which is, uh, let's say it is tangent. If A is tangent, let's say I'm, I'm just taking, I'm showing here if A is tangent. Uh, so if I take, let's say A as negative one fourth here, the value of A is let's say negative 0.25 or something, it becomes almost tangent. So which is like here, almost a tangent. So in this case, the graph, if this is this is like the condition of equal roots. So here, you'll, the graph is meeting at only one point. This, for this, your discriminant is equals to zero because you, you need one root of the resulting quadratic. And the third case is your b squared minus 4ac obviously less than zero if the two of the curves don't intersect. So like, it's like here. So in this case, the, the resulting quadratic that you have should not meet at any, any given point. So what happened is that the Let's say now equation that I've taken, x squared, I'm just gonna ex briefly solve this. So my two equations are y equals to x squared and y equals to x plus a. So first you're gonna use these two equations to get a proper quadratic, like solve for like, a, I mean, your quadratic, sh you should get in one variable. So you, what I do is since you have y is here, I replace this, this y out here. So x squared equals to x plus a. Now in the question they'll say, find out the range of A values such that this line and this quadratic, they are like number one, cut at two point, cut two point. Number two is tangent. Number three is they don't meet, don't meet. So when I solve for the intersection, like obviously I equate both the equations and I get a proper quadratic, which is X squared minus X minus A is zero bring one side. After this, we're oh, gonna find out this quantity, which is a discriminant, b squared minus four ac is equals to, for this graph, it is negative one squared, that's a va b value, a is one, and c is minus a, which is gonna be one plus four a. Now, if one plus four a, you can see this is the discriminant. Now for, if this is meet at two points, so this and this, they meet at two points, it means discriminant is more than zero. So that gives you four A is greater than negative one, and that is A is negative one fourth. Now, if it is tangent, discriminant is equals to zero. So B squared minus four AC equals to zero. So at that point, if I take that A value, so which is discriminant is four A plus one, that equal to zero, A is negative one fourth. Third case is where discriminant is less than zero. So B squared minus four AC, is less than zero. So it's gonna be um, your one plus four K is less than zero. So if I take any value less than negative one four, your graph, the quadratic and the lines will not meet at uh, any point. So this is the basic like two equations when, when you have two equations, how to do discriminant. So now let's take two more examples that help us understand how two different curves intersections can be decided by use, use, use of discriminant. So the first equation that we got is y is two x minus k they have given to us. Find out the set of k values such that this line and this quadratic cut at two distinct points. So it means that they are cutting at, so there is a quadratic and the um, line they're cutting at two distinct points. And for this, we have learned that it is B squared minus 4AC is positive. So now B squared minus 4AC for the intersection equation. So first equation is we got Y is 2X minus K and we got Y is X squared plus KX negative two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first equate these two equations. So uh, get out to get this proper simultaneous equation. I mean quadratic equation. So if I replace this y with this 2x minus k, so you get 2x minus k equals to x squared plus kx minus 2. Now after this, uh, this step is the important step, the next one which I'm doing. So adjustment of equation in standard quadratic it is important, ax squared plus bx plus c form. So what you do is you bring in everything one side, there'll be x squared plus kx minus two, bring two x's side, so it become minus two x, 
bring k to side, negative k to side, so it becomes positive k. Now remember that here k is an arbitrary constant, that whatever value fixed up, that's the value it's going to take. So what you do is now we have to isolate x terms. I have to isolate constant term. So you got x squared. Then we got, okay, we have got x here and we got x here. We're going to take plus kx. I'm going to write them first together so that we don't get confused. And you've got k here and negative two here. It's like I can write on k minus two. And obviously it's equals to zero. So what we get is now again, you can see that there are two x's. So here is one x and here is in that case, I have advised you that you take x common. So it become x squared plus k minus two x plus k minus two equals to zero. Now it's, they're saying it is uh, cutting at two distinct points. So now you've got a proper quadratic with a value being one, b value being k minus two, and c value being k minus two again. So what I do is you find out the discriminant, b squared minus four ac. So it'll be k minus two the whole squared minus four times one times k minus two greater than zero. So after this, you do is k squared minus four k plus four and open this bracket, which is gonna be negative four k and positive eight more than zero. So you get k squared minus eight k plus 12 greater than zero. Now, once again, we have reached to a platform where we have the quadratic inequality. So if you have quadratic inequality, you basically are gonna draw the sign diagram or the graph is inequality itself. So I'm not, not now gonna be concerned about what I did. I now have reached to final step and the bravery will be to solve this equation correctly because still now you get three points. What already got done? Like out of five points, you get three points. But two marks is for solving the, the quadratic inequality. So what I do is first I sketch this quadratic inequality minus 8k plus 12 equals to zero. If you do splitting on the middle term or if you use calculator, it'll be k equals to two and k equals to six. So these are gonna be the two values that you will get for k. After this, you put them on number line. So this is two and six. What I'm drawing is I'm gonna do this, the discriminant graph. I'm not, I'm explicitly writing here because this is not the graph of any of these equations. This is the graph that I'm doing to solve the quadratic inequality. So now since we got the roots already and coefficient of k squared is positive, so which is one here, so it will be a happy phase graph. So now this can, this graph is so helpful for us to sketch the sign diagram. The so number one is where is your graph negative, which is between two and six. You can see that the graph is below x-axis between this two and six, which is nothing but uh, negative here. And then you have positive values, which is here and here. So the graph is positive here and positive here. So when you're doing the final work, your final answer, what you want is you want a positive value more than zero is positive. So when you find that value out, the, the range of the k values that you will look forward will be more than six, that is this side, and less than two. So what, what would be very interesting is that if you take any k value higher than six or k value lesser than two, you will notice that these two graphs that you have taken will cut at two distinct points. I would show you the graphical evidence, but it is important to understand the procedure as well. So this one is the graphical verification basically for y equals to two x minus k and y equals to x squared plus k x minus two meeting at number of points based on the k values. Now our slider says that, okay, if I take k less than two, it if I take any k value, for example, less than two, now for example, one, all these will give me two distinct roots. You can see that the any k values, they are giving me always less than two giving me two distinct roots. You can see the graph is meeting at two distinct points. And if I take higher than six, higher than six if I take, which is here, you can see, once again, the graph meets at two points. But interesting thing is to see between two and six what's happening. 
So when I say between two and six, you'll see that the graphs are not meeting at any point. Because at that point, your discriminant between two and six, you saw the sign diagram was negative. So discriminant was negative in that range. So between two and six, the graph will not meet at any point. But you can see here that at this stage, it is meeting exactly at two points when I cross the, the range. Now, if I take any of these K values, like for example, if I take two, if I take KS2 now, you'll notice that it'll be tangent exact value. When I say discriminant equals to zero, you'll see that it's tangent. If I change to six, if I take change to six, let's say this is six here, and this is six here. You'll notice again, it is tangent, which is here here at this point. So this is the this is the general logic how we use a quadratic equation to decide on how many points two different equations are going to cut. So let's take let's take one more example about the same. So the second question is uh, we have got y equals to two x minus seven. This is another line and y equals to x squared minus 4x plus c code. So now these two equations, they are given that they does not intersect. The line does not intersect the curve. So what will be the range of k values that you can take? Now, if it does not meet, it means that b squared minus 4ac must be less than zero. So what we do is we equate this to each other. We get x squared minus 4x plus c equals to 2x minus 7. Now, this is the equation for intersection. Now, if this equation does not have a root, it means that, it, that they don't intersect. So that's what we're going to use the logic. So bring in everything on side. So you get x squared minus 4x plus c, negative 2x positive 7 equals to 0. Negative 4x negative 2x is negative 6x. Uh, positive 7 plus 7, c plus 7 is 0. And after this, what we do is we've got A is one, B is negative six, and C is, capital C, I can take a C plus seven. So it becomes now B squared minus four AC is less than zero. So B squared, if I do is negative six squared minus four times one times C plus seven, less than zero. What you get is you get 36 minus four C minus 28, less than zero. 36 minus 28 is basically 6 minus 4c less than 0. It's better to, to bring this 4c to this side. So 6 is less than 4c. Divide both the side by 4. So when I once I divide by both the side by 4, I get the answer for c to be higher than 3 by 2. So if my c value is higher than 3 by 2, your equation that you've got will not uh, cut the x-axis at I mean, the, cut the line at any given point.